All the girls with their washing rags. All the girls on the telephone. All the girls standing all alone. sentimentality. I'm, at heart, I'm a romantic, but I'm also, um, I'm also the sort of person who whenever somebody starts saying romantic things to me, I maybe think that they're trying to steal something. <laughs> <laughs> What's your con and what? I, I'm not, I don't have anything you want. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. I've seen all of the shit that I have and trust me. <laughs> I'll wipe some off on, there you go. It usually is a, can I touch your beard? Go away. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I, I thought that I might sing a, a song about emotional difficulty. <laughs> kind of, kind of. Coping, coping coping. We've all been here at some point. <laughs> and this is like, this is, I love what, we, this is like a song from the worst Disney musical ever. <laughs> the way that I sing it. I sing it like it's a Disney ballad about this topic. <laughs> 
imagine me, I'm animated, I am animated. <laughs> behind me, something, my hair is, I have hair and it's blowing in the wind. I'm Pocahontas. I don't know. I had a dream last night, I slept with someone else. Does that mean that I cheated on you? It was amazing and I couldn't help myself. Does that mean that I really want to? Well, if the things you think count more than what you do, I guess i better be leaving. I don't want to be that guy. Look you in the face and lie, but someone has to say it first, even if the words may hurt. I only love you. I only love you. I only love you. Only love you. Only love you when I'm drunk. I only love you. I only love you. I only love you. Only love you. Only love you when I'm drunk. Don't get me wrong. Last night I didn't change my mind. It was the drink. It was leading me blind. And when I kissed you, it was such a big mistake. A couple drinks. That's the chance that I take. But if you think that. I don't want to be that guy, look you in the face and lie, but someone has to say it first, even if the words may hurt. I only love you, I only love you, I only love you, only love you, only love you when I'm drunk, I only love you, I only love you, I only love you, only love you, only love you when I'm drunk, I only love you, I only love you, I only love you. Because I know what I've got to do. Because if I get a little bit sober, babe, you know, I'm gonna be over you. I gotta get a little bit drunk, cause you know what I got to do, do, do. Cause if I get a little bit sober, you know I'll get over you. I only love you. homosexual pop singer from from England named Mika. Oh, Mika. <laughs> Who is also, I'm half Lebanese, he's half Lebanese, and we're destined for each other. Not lesbian. No, my mother used to have a tongue twister. Eleven Lebanese lesbians were lasciviously lunching on lobster. That's how you got rid of that list? <laughs> I never had a list that I remember, <laughs> but you know, good point. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I had so, one. It's not that bad. You do a great job, Dart. You are a very articulate <laughs> woman. <laughs> She's a lesbian. She, any, anyways, anyways. Cherries, cherries. Um, so earlier, the, the joke was made, or the joke started, those of you who know me more or less, you know, I, I have been, uh, I was, let's start the story this way, I was at the Mr. Coney Island competition, I was competing in the Mr. Coney Island competition a couple of weeks ago, and my dear friend Glenn Marla, who I hadn't seen in a while, walks up to me and says, Eric, I don't think I've seen you in three sexualities. <laughs> and it was true. <laughs> and um, this is why, you know, the she just missed it by a couple of years thing is sort of true. But I, I don't think there was ever any closet involved in my life. It was more like a really, really 
ornate Winchester mystery house of boning, <laughs> where I just sort of walked into rooms and was like, these windows do nothing for me. They all go into other rooms. Walked into another door and it was a wall. Walked up a staircase and it was a landing with a very frightening height. <laughs> I thought, I don't like being up here. It's very scary. Um, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> your personal life comes back to haunt you like that three o'clock in the morning text message that you will never live down. <laughs> night after night after night after night after night. After night. I, I live my life like a three o'clock in the morning text message, let's be honest. But... The next song? Three o'clock in the morning text message? Oh, we're not doing that one today. But I love being a faggot. Woo! That's fun. It, so I went to this Winchester mystery house of boning and, and I found, I finally found the ballroom with all the balls I like. <laughs> and I said, I'm gonna stay here. I like this place. This place does me just right. And I, I've done a lot of things in that room and yes, I've, I've moved in. I've put new wallpaper up. I'm, I'm having a swell old time. And it's Pride Month this oh. month, I suppose. And um, we live in an interesting time period. And I thought, oh, I'll just dust off this old song, another song from the 1920s. We're in this time where we're like, oh God, things are getting a little bit oppressive. What does this remind us of? Nazi Germany. So why not pull out a song from the Weimar cabaret years about gay people? So that I'm gonna do this song about gay oppression from the Weimar years in our Weimar, yeah. <laughs> Before I talk anymore. What makes them think they have the right to say what God considers vice? What makes them think they have the right to keep us out of paradise? They make our lives hell here on earth, poisoning us with guilt and shame. We with bruises, prison awaits, so our love dare not speak its name. The crime in wisdom. From now on, we'll love with pride. Marbles in my mouth. <laughs> We're not afraid to be queer and different. If that means hell, well, hell will take the chance. They're all so straight, uptight, upright, and rigid. They march in locks that we prefer to dance. We see a world of romance and of pleasure. All they can see is sheer banality. Lavender nights are our greatest treasure, where we can just be who we want to be. Yes, I know, it's very cute. Round us all up, send us away. That's what you'd really like to do. But we're too strong, proud, unafraid. In fact, we almost pity you. You act from fear, why should that be? What is it that you are frightened of? The way that we dress, the way that we meet, the fact that you cannot destroy our love. We're going to win our rights to lavender days and lavender nights. Ah, sure. Shut up, Allegra. <laughs> We're not afraid to be queer and different. If that means hell, well, hell will take a chance. They are all so straight, uptight, upright, and rigid. They march in lockstep, we prefer to dance. We see a world of romance and of pleasure. All they can see is sheer banality. Lavender nights are our greatest treasure. 